Yeah, man, want to give a shout out to Dean's Houston Cheesesteak and Pizza, man. Two locations, man. But first and foremost, man, let me introduce myself, man. BSO, Home of Lee. You know, shout out to BSO Social Club, man. That's the brand. And I also want to give a big shout out, man, to Real Tune Motherfucker TV, man. Damn, boy. Why you choose me, man? Why you why you believed in me, bro? Hey, real tone, it's a real money in the room. And we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. You know what I'm saying? Like good crack, they come back. You know what I'm saying? Uh hmm. right now we got at this point, we can call him an internet sensation, or is that too early? Nah, man, you know, speaking into existence, you hear me? Homer Lee, man, the one and only Homer Lee. You know what I'm saying? I think um, in a week, you know, almost done 100K. Um, I, I looked back at your interview, and I saw a lot of positive feedback. You know what I mean? I, yes, I saw more people um, showing love for what you had to say then hating on what you had to say. say uh, you know what I'm saying? And we saw we saw both ways. Yeah, we saw both ways, man. Uh and, and before we get into it, just talk about like what was your experience cuz I, I I you know, I've seen you do, you know, you you rap so you've done some kind of internet but you're mm -hmm. not too internet, you know what I mean? Yeah, too internet. But you know, man, shit, first of all, man, shout out to all the comments that were made, man, and people speaking their opinion. You know, we're entitled to our own opinion, first off and foremost. But, you know, man, there were some negative things, but I tilt my head to them because sometimes that's what shaped me and helped me to grow. Come on. So without that right there, man, in my life, man, I wouldn't know what to change about me. You feel me? For sure. It, it was um, one comment <clears throat> that you pointed out to me that stood out in particular uh, where I guess a fan said they listened to your music and they mm -hmm. felt like, They'd rather listen to you talk than listen to you make music. Like, how did that make you feel? Man, it really made me feel good, bro. Like, you know, at first I took it in the wrong way, man. But everything that you take it to the wrong way, if you got a mind, then you could think. You just got to take time to think about it. You know what I'm saying? So I started looking at it like, damn. They don't like my motherfucking music? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, well, shit. Put me back on the mic then, bitch. I'm... You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do this talking then. <laughs> no, nah, for sure, show. For sure, show. Well, um, since the last time we sat down, there's been a lot of things that have transpired. Um, yeah. So, for for one, I just want to ask you, and I know you don't have a dog in the fight, but um, there, there has been um, a lot of people who have shared in the same experience that you shared, Ferguson experience, mm -hmm. um, come out, you know, basically going against OG Percy. Okay. Um, you know, and, and you didn't want to speak too much on his situation, right? Um, but there's been people who've come out, you know what I mean, that some of them didn't do time. Um, mm -hmm. A guy particularly by the name of Kryptonite, you know, um, didn't do time with Percy, but said Percy wasn't, you know, that. And there's also a lot of older cats, Percy's age or above, that did time at Ferguson that, you know, said he wasn't that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um my question to you is did you see any of the slander and what do you think as somebody who you know w was there man really first and foremost man shout out to person man you know look man anybody that's trying to do positive man don't ever try to put them down you feel me but one thing i learned you know from people that I surround myself with, man. We not crabs in the bucket. You know what I'm saying? Like, we want to see our people grow, especially if they speaking and saying the right things. Why would we knock them and discredit them? They're not saying pick up a gun and go hurt someone. They're not saying, hey, take this from someone. You know what I'm saying? So how can we sit here and say that whatever he's saying is discredited when – and this ain't to just, you know, put light on him and everything, you know, but, man – I've been there, and I've seen it with my eyes. Like, you know, when people are saying bad, and I ain't knocking the people that got something bad to say about them. Like I said, you're entitled to your own opinion. You feel me? But sometimes, man, you just got to look in life. Where they at right now? Mm. What position they in? We don't know their position. They could have caught out. 
They could have been catch outs or whatever and just want to just trying to come up off somebody's name. I ain't here for that, bro. Like, my reputation and name going to speak for itself, man. You feel me? Yeah. And uh, I don't think nothing bro said was wrong. I think everything he said was according to what he said. And for one, you know, shout out to MJ. You know what I'm saying? Love you, young boy. Can't wait till you come home, man. He was telling me the other day, man, when he called me, man, that, uh, man, he always had a lot of love for Percy, man. He, and he always credited Percy because he always felt like Percy had our structure. When I say our structure, how not a race, but as a brand, mm -hmm. the way our brand was ran. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're going to call it. We're going to call this a brand. So he ran that brand like our brand. You feel me? Mm. And a lot of people didn't like that because, you know, they felt like they brought themselves there and they're going to do what the fuck they want to do and they don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? I remember being young and my grandmother telling me, you're going to mind somebody one day. And I went to prison and it's crazy that when I was fucking up, Shit, I had to mind somebody. My homeboys got dead on my ass and told me, hey, don't do it again. Or we're going to touch that ass. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it got serious like that. You feel me? So, yeah, man, hey, people are going to hate on him and knock him, whether he's doing bad or good. One thing I can say, man, I tip my hat to you, man. MJ gives his shout out, man, and his love and his blessing to you, homie. And uh, that's that, man. For sure, for sure. Um, I, I will say this in defense of, you know, kryptonite and those who may mm -hmm. feel some type of way. Yeah. So um, I actually spoke to him and, you know, I asked him about the attacking and, you know, why he feels some type of way. And essentially what he said was that he's not hating on him. He just feels that Percy has opened the door. For people to be interested in Ferguson unit and the things that have gone on, the stories about mm -hmm. these people, um, but nobody outside of Percy from Ferguson unit has gotten an opportunity, and they feel I'm gonna say they, they feel that the bloggers who have been quote unquote gatekeeping uh, mm -hmm. as far as the Ferguson shit um, haven't been. Giving any opportunities to any other individuals You being from Ferguson Unit Number one, do you feel that same sentiment? Do you feel like it's some like truth to that? Or is it like, or is that hang? Like that's an excuse for hang Man, you know I, I don't know how to call it, man You know, it's a lot of things we don't speak about over there, man But, you know, you're asking my opinion And, uh, man, hey Purse is doing him you know, as far as, man, like, I ain't see nothing he was doing was wrong. Right. You feel me? Like, everything he did was accordingly, man, and it was good. And I talked to Percy about you, and one of the things that hit different was he feels like, when, like, it's crazy that I get support from people who, or more support from people who don't look like me you know what i'm saying not even a part of my race is showing me more support than my own people and how do you like go across those boundaries and just keep it real all the way across the board man because it's first of all it's easy you ask me a question and one thing i know how to do is tell the truth Come on. You know, i don't know how to lie about nothing man and all you asking me is a question that all i can give you is the truth too Right. This ain't nothing made up. This ain't nothing falsified. You know what I'm saying? Just sometimes, man, I don't understand people, man. You know, when somebody's trying to do good for their community and we got to be the main ones to drag our own people down. You feel me? No, for sure. Like, you know, for example, I'm going to give you an example. Man, I, I love my race, bro. I love my people, you know. But... I'm not going to sit there and hate on them because they don't respect my movement or the way I move or the way I am or the way I feel or whatever, you know. All I can keep doing is pushing this positive shit out there and hoping that it changes somebody's life and look at that more as important and value than what my own race got to think of me. Because there was a comment that I read, man, like, 
Now he went against blacks, but he used the N word. Well, y'all use it to worship yourself. Y'all don't respect one another. Mm. So how you want another person to sit here and not use that word when you got to lead by example? For, for one, bro, you got to lead by example. And for two, bro, I can't see a certain person dressed in a certain color or race. I don't think dress style or the way a person talk got anything to do with, you know, oh, he trying to act black or he trying to dress black, and, but he went against us and there. Y'all do that every day out here. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't support each other. Look at now, for example, man, person ain't said nothing wrong, bro. And he's trying to build and build and build, and who you, who's trying to tear him down? I'm down. That's it. You know, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm leave it like this. Bars. Hello. <laughs> Bars. Um, shameless plug, real quick. I want to give a shout out to the restaurant. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I um and you know people to say Houston, something man. about me eating on camera. I was told it's the best uh, cheese steak in the city. So we about to see. You know what I'm saying? If this yes. is indeed the best cheese steak, yes, the fries is hitting is. now. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to start on the fries before I uh, get deep inside. You understand what I'm saying? But we got two locations, man. Dean's Houston, man. Cheese steak. So, cheese steak and pizza, man. But, you know, we do wings and everything else, man. And go, while we talking about food right now, you know, I read a comment, man. <laughs> you know, somebody said on there, man, damn, the first 10 seconds he talked about was food. I said, man... I shook my head, man, because I was like, damn, that brother was right. But you know what, man? <laughs> you can't live without food or water. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Doc. So you need your fuel and your energy. Come on, Doc. All right, bro. All right, we back live. You know what I'm saying? We back live. Quick food break. Uh, once again, we right here at Dean's. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cheesecake. Cheese, cheese steak. Cheese steak. Oh, Boy, shit. Cheesecake. God damn. You're a big nigga, man. Uh, but a little nigga. But however it go, uh, we at Dean's Cheese Steak. Cheesecake. Cheese steak. <laughs> look, I got, look, look, let me quit playing. I got the cheese steak right here. Huh? Yes, sir. And I got yeah, the I got pizza. The, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, Jalapeno taste, on pepperoni. Taste the cheese steak right now. I wrote, hey, look, you see me? I do that bitch like a taco. Mm-hmm. Him. That way. Himalese. That. You know what I'm saying? I got first um and foremost, you know, salute to Homer Lee, bro. Always showing love. You know what I'm saying? Always um it's going the extra mile for courtesy. And you know, I don't know if that's a cultural thing, but I, I do notice that mm -hmm. Every time I'm dealing with Hispanics, this has been in California. Shout out to um, Uncle Spliff. He can attest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, th this has been in California. This has been in Texas. Like, wherever I go, it, the Hispanics is going to feed you <laughs> and offer you a Modelo. You hear me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And, and you better eat it. You know what I'm saying? You going to yeah. eat it. No, for real. Nah, bro. I remember, you know, being a little kid running around in the apartments and stuff, man. Yeah. You know, we didn't have a lot of food at our house growing up. So, man, I used to be so bad, but I would blend in with the other kids. I would see they were, their family was barbecuing or something like that. You know, Mexican family, you know, we're in the apartment <laughs> complex, man. I used yeah. to just squeeze my way up in there. Cousin. You hear me? I'm, I'm, you know, trying to eat something. You hear me? I would sit there, sit at the table. They fix me a plate. And really, bro, that's how my people always was, though. You feel me? Right. Like, we... we that was like nothing like nobody had to teach us how to be like that, bro. You know, it was uh, do as you see us do. Right. You know, so they didn't have to lace us up, bro. We seen the love growing up like that. Right. For sure. For yeah. sure. Man, um, <clears throat> I, I did want to um, touch the elephant in the room, though. Um, one of the bigger controversies from your interview was a lot of people was questioning how can this dude be uh, blood, be blasting, and be Hispanic? It and just be a thirteen, and, yeah, and, and be thrice. You know what I'm saying? It it just mm -hmm. doesn't all go together. 
Yeah, it don't go together, bro, but I'm going to put it together for you. You know what I'm saying? A puzzle ain't a puzzle without the pieces put together. You feel me? Right. So it's like this, man. Those are three different things and three different times. And three, you know, okay, for one, 13, you hear me? That was when I was in the street. Mexican, that's my race, you know? Even though my dad was Dominican, but I ain't never sit here try to portray that, you know, I was, oh, I'm Dominican and woo, woo, woo. And uh, my mom, she's from here, she a Chicana, you know what I'm saying? My grandmother's from here. But my grand, but my mom's dad, he's from Mont- Monterrey. He's from Mexico. You know right. what I'm saying? And uh, but my dad was Dominican, bro. My grandma, my uncle, and all them. Yeah, from that side of the family, I learned bachata. You know what I'm saying? Bachata. That's that that side to side music. You know, you know right, how to right, dance right, right, too. Right. But you know, bro, I love them. I love them deeply. But I didn't grow up with them. You feel me? Right. My grandmother raised me, man. And so all my life, you know, I. You know, how you going to tell me what I ain't? So, you know, 13 come from the street, man, you know, and we banged red, so we decided to call ourselves Bloods. You know what I'm saying? That's where the 13 came in the vibe. But like I said in my last interview, we was JQ8, Juntos Queridos Asesinos, Together Beloved Assassins. That's what it represented, you feel me? Uh, we didn't start calling ourselves Bloods till later on, bro. Like I said, we didn't have no knowledge understanding, you know, like how they got knowledge and shit now, you know what I'm saying, for that. But uh, the 13 just represented just to keep us separate from everybody, you know what I'm saying? We was 13, you feel me? And um, blasting happens to be when you're in the penitentiary, you know? That was for for us, for my people, you feel me, bro? Like, one thing I can say... When you say your people, you mean they're like Hispanics? Hispanics, yeah, the Hispanics, bro, like, you know... Bro, we're, we're all type of gangs, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, combined into one, you know? And uh, you, we pretty much got everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it's good because in the way, bro, you, you cause a lot of, you know, confusion and defusion from the streets, what other gangs got going on with other gangs. You feel me? Right. So, yeah, man, you know, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing to think hard about. Or to sit here and think what I gotta say, man. These are two different timings, and you can't put the penitentiary to the free world, the free world to the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And if we wanted to come home, if I wanted to come home and be a part of my gang, I could be a part of my gang. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't, we ain't got no ties in like that, man. You know so. I don't see what's the uh like what they trying to misinterpret on the comments saying how he was he thirteen blasting him masking. Shit is simple, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and my street gang ain't in the penitentiary. You know what I'm saying? I'ma rep my city and repping my city means blast, I'ma blast. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I'm gonna hold it down for Houston, man. And then I'm riding with my people because I was riding with my people in the free world. And let me clear that up, man. When I say riding, man, I say show love and get and get down for mines. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because people got a misinterpretation of riding. Riding could mean, nigga, you a hoe. And, uh, yeah, you you ain't going to make it on your own. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's what riding means. You feel me? It's not like out here in the free world. If I said, damn, Tone, you ready to come ride with me? You know what I'm saying? Right. You're going to look at that one way. But in prison, if I said, man, you going to ride with me? And I might be thinking you a hoe. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to get up under the wing. I got a fat wing, though. You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop, bro. Two for one. <laughs> Two for one, man. Yeah. No, for sure, man. Why, why do you think people were particular to call that out out of everything? You know what I'm saying? Man, because, you know, they don't know what's going on. I ain't going to give them too much of it. That's why, you know what I'm saying? They're going to keep guessing and get, and keep trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? 13 Blast and Mexican, this is, man, I'm always, I, my race ain't going to never change. You feel me? And 13, that was in the street, you know? And Blasting is because I wanted to rep my city. Right. And that's the only best way that I could do it. 
we the one thing the one thing I don't think we talked about was you coming home. So how how long did you actually do? Man, fourteen years, man. For day for day. Day for day. Day for day. When 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 years. when when did you get out? Man, two thousand nineteen in the beginning. How how for you? How was that transition after doing fourteen years and getting out? I think um, Trump was in office at that time. Yeah. Yes. Was sir. he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you so. missed Obama. Yeah. You missed the whole. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was in there, man. But during Obama's time, he had it. He had it during some fucked up times, bro. Like when he took office, I remember like the economy went down. It's like they wanted to see him fail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like they put him in at the right time. Right. Black president, the economy down, and watch him fail. Right. But some way he fought his way back about this shit. You know nah, what I'm saying? Not for real. And got up. You feel me? Not nah, for real, bro. I see a lot of things, you know. Uh, and that's one of the things I don't like talking about, like politics and shit, because I get deep into it. And people might not understand where my politics come from. You feel me? Yeah. But yeah, man. Yeah. Well, I'm curious to know, because you are from Texas. So when mm-hmm. you seen Trump come in, like, what was your thoughts? Oh, man. Look, bro. So <laughs> I might lo- I'm, I might lose a lot of followers <laughs> for this one, man. Really, man, I didn't have nothing bad to say about him. So you you like Trump? I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna wear no Trump T-shirt. I ain't down to get my ass whooped behind Trump. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? But but, but you don't- hey, bro, let me tell you something. One thing I learned, bro, is you got two type of people in this world, man. One that smile in your face and one that smile behind your back. You feel me? So let me tell you, to be clear, man, I ain't seen nothing wrong he did, bro. How you going to hate someone that tell you what it is, man? But you, you're you going to love and respect somebody that lie and tell you what it is, but it ain't. But you, you don't feel like he was wrong with the wall? Bro, listen. I don't. I, that that don't concern me, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna get built without me or with me. You feel me? It, it's gonna happen. You feel what I'm saying, bro? So you know I can't determine that. But all I'm saying is, like, man, you know, honest about the wall. He's honest about his. Yeah, he say some off the wall shit. Oh, a lot of rapists and Mexicans come from woo 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 the border. Man, that's in anybody's race. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because the last time I checked, bro, it was a lot of whole cartel shit going on down there. Right. You feel me? So, you know, I, all that shit like that, bro, that could be in any race. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, man, that's some shit that I don't agree with him, man. But one thing I know, man, he's blunt about his shit. Right. He tell you what it is, whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not. And that's one thing I can no. I can respect. You know what I'm saying? Uh yeah, but I ain't gonna get my ass whooped behind him. Fuck that. He gonna have to take that ass whooping on his own. No, for sure. <laughs> when you came home, how was that transition for you after fourteen years? Man, bro, it was it was hard, man. You know, I remember uh getting ready to get up to shave. I cut my hair with a comb and a razor, you know, got my little mirrors, make sure my shit was on point. They called me out. The walls unit, man. And uh, I, they took me down. And as that before I exited, you know, we had to go pick our clothes out to change and stuff. So I tried to get some good enough decent clothes just to make it out. You know what I'm saying? And uh, as I was walking out, exiting out, man, and I heard somebody call my name, and I looked over. It was my brother Mike, man. You feel me? You know, shout out to Mike, man. Day one since I was young, you know. He, you know, a long time ago, man, he tried to take me away from my lifestyle, but I ran back, you know what I'm saying? And um, I made it home, man, and he was there to pick me up, bro. And he had bags for me, man. And they had a little change room out there that you can go in and change. And all I'm seeing is Jordan, 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 Jordan. I'm like, damn, bro, growing up, I ain't never had Jordans. Right. Now I got Jordan everything, you feel me? So as I'm changing, this whole ass nigga walking all around me, spraying me down with cologne. <laughs> yeah. He hit me right in my mouth. I said, bitch ass nigga, fuck you spray me in my mouth for? He said, bitch, I need to get that smell. 
everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I said, God damn, boy. So, you know, we got dressed and shit. He was like, bitch, you hungry? I was like, hell yeah. He was like, what you trying to eat? I want, I want some Italian food, boy. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get some Italian food. He was like, bitch, you want some Italian food? I got a spot for you. So we driving, bro. We driving to the Italian restaurant, man. Yeah. And uh, he's he's telling me, man, get you whatever you want. Woo, woo, woo. And then he tells me, bro. He was like, man, you know, this this our restaurant, man. And I was like, what? Man, shout out to Luigi's, man, on Jones Road. If y'all ever in the neighborhood, man, stop by, man. Please support the family business, man, on Jones Road. And Cyprus is called Luigi's. And, uh, but yeah, man, I was just so happy, bro. And, you know, I was just letting them know how I had all the pictures he would send me, how I got everything. And, and I was just thankful, bro. Then from there, we went to the house and I seen my grandmother, bro, before she lost her sight. You know, I got to see her. She hugged me. I made it home. You know, they prayed for me, bro. Mm. And, uh, you know, later on, my grandmother, you know, went into, you know, other stages and, you know, I lost her and it was real hard, bro. And I remember calling my brother up a few years later and I was like, man, bro, what happened? Like, what, where'd you go, man? And because he was out a year and a half, of, like he dropped me off at home and that was it, bro. And. I didn't see my brother again to like a year and a half later, man. You know, and I'm like, bro, why would you do me like that, bro? Woo, woo, woo. And he was like, Homer, bro, I couldn't hold your hand, bro. If I would have held your hand, man, you wouldn't be who you are today, bro. You wouldn't be where you at today, bro, if I held your hand when you came home, man. And I ain't had no choice but to just sit there and be like, damn, he's right, bro. For real, bro. Ten out of ten, though, for sure, for shit, show. Ten out of ten on the uh, cheese steaks, um, man. So, for for the average guy getting out of prison, you know, how how is that transition back into the streets? Mm. Man, you got to come out here with that patience, man. Keep that same patient energy that you had when you was incarcerated. You got to or you going to fold, man. And out here is different now. Now you got to see in there, you couldn't think because thinking would cause you to hesitate and that will mess you up. But out here, you got to be able to readapt quick. And out here, you're going to have to think. You're going to have to think before you move, think before you talk. You got to think. To say what you're gonna say back Because if you don't You're gonna get lost out here man You gotta have patience man Out here Cause You know we was locked up We used to scream out This free world shit I can't wait till I get to the free world Let me tell you something man Ain't nothing free out here Ain't nothing free out here man Bars Just, just trying to let you know that Ain't nothing free out here And it's gonna be way harder Than it was in there Because in there You didn't have to pay for nothing Mm. You woke up, you went to work You came back from work, you went to child You went to child, you came back to the block They called child again, you rolled back out the child You come back, hey, rag time, you laid your ass down Guess what, the same day you did it again But you did it again, not knowing what's going to happen So you live every day like it's your last one You know what I'm saying? But out here, you got to have that same fight mentality, man that saying, you want a job? Don't think about it. Go do it. You want to be, you want to be something? Don't stop and think about it. Go get it. You know what I'm saying? Cause, bro, we don't got that many people to to help us out here, bro. And that's what I was telling my boy, man. You know what I'm saying? My boy called me earlier today, and he was letting me know, man, that he's happy to be home, and he's thankful for everything that I've done. But he's got to find his own way. And it hurt me, man, because, you know, I've been waiting five years for my brother to make it home. And the reason why he didn't make it home, bro, because in 2017, the laws jumped my celly and I got into 
the riot with the laws because of my celly. And uh, my boys seen me jump, and they jumped in with me. And we end up getting fucked off behind that, not knowing that my homeboy made a FI to make it home. In 2017, he would have been home with his mother, but because the love he had for me, bro, he jumped out there with me, not thinking that, oh, man, I'm already finna go home. My home is right around the corner. And that shit hurt it, bro, because I've been out here waiting for my boy to make it home, and he finally made it home, you know. And he thanked me for everything, man. You know, shout out to my boy Youngster, man. But, you know, bro, he told me, man, he said, homie, I got to find my way, bro. Hey, I love you, big bro, and, you know, woo, woo, woo. And I told him, dog, that I just wanted that to come from you because I, could, I couldn't be that hoe-ass dude to be like, man, he got out there for me, I'm going to forget about him. You know what I'm saying? Right. So he had to make that decision on his own. And if he feel like that's his best decision, then do right and stand right on that, bro. If you feel like you can go get it on your own, go do that. Because I'm going to be here for you and I'm going to cheer you on, bro. And whenever you feel like you're discouraged and you need somebody to fall on, I'm going to be that phone call away for you, bro. Call me, man. Call me, man. No, for sure, man. Home Elite, man. For real. Um, is, there, is there anything that you want to let the people know who may be watching? Say, man, look. If y'all watching this podcast right now with Real Tune TV, man, first and foremost, man, I want to give thanks to the Lord, man. And I want to give thanks to him, man, for allowing us to be here today to break years of, you know, burial curses and cycles, man, that people said that we couldn't break, where people said that we couldn't make. And all the times people said we wasn't going to be nothing, man. Now we're sitting here and we're finna go somewhere far, you know, and it's just been a blessing, man. And I know y'all out there might get discouraged and want to give up, but if you can't fight for nobody, man, fight for yourself. Come on. Or you can't fight for your kids, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, your friends, man. There's got to be something in this world to motivate you to motivate yourself, man. Come on. And that's all I'm trying to say, man. Be that winner that you are Because when you woke up today You already won Come on But some of us don't know that So I'm just trying to remind you man And, and, and I got a song man That's called Pressure Make Champions And I wrote this song You know early in the morning bro And the song broke tears to me Yeah it broke tears to me man And I ain't trying to sit here and say That I'm a Billy Badass man No but I've done a lot of wrong now I'm trying to make it right, if you understand what I'm saying, bro. I've done a lot of wrong or caused a lot of hurt. All I'm trying to do now is rewind it and make it right, bro. And I feel like if I save a life, maybe God will forgive my life. I don't know if you understand that, bro, like why I fight so hard, man, you know, to just be how I am, bro. But at the same time, I don't want to get hurt for me being who I am. Mm. Don't hurt me because you don't like something I say, man. Don't make a name for yourself because you want to hurt me. You know what I'm saying? Learn how to say, man, I could build something with him. I could go far with him. And then come holler at me, man, and we'll see your potentials. Because sometimes my potential, I couldn't see them. Right. But people seen them in me. Like you, bro. I never seen myself on your podcast doing none of this, bro. But you pull up on me like, bro, woo, woo, woo. And the first time I swear, I thought I locked you in, bro. You're like, bro, you never saved it. And now that I can sit here and remember it, and it was like, damn, dog. I ain't even hit that save button. So that's how we are, man. When you yeah. come across someone, man, treasure them. Value them. Because sometimes when they walk away, you ain't hit that save button. Come on. But I, I also could say, though, you know, fucking with you has been beneficial to us, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't expect the interview to go crazy. 
You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, like allowing us to go into a whole nother market. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like man, for but real, check we got a whole nother people uh, tapping in. I remember you was like, shit, I don't got no cash. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you don't need none. Yeah. <laughs> you hear me? But you know, no, bro, but, but you know, bro, I'd rather give it to you like that, bro, because mm-hmm. since I've been doing this rap thing, bro, everybody's been hitting me up, bro, and they make it sound real good, too. Yeah. And when they boil down to it, man, they want all this money they think I have, bro. Tell me something, man. I don't portray or perceive myself to be nobody or to have better than anybody. But I have good intentions and I have a good heart and I have good friends, bro. And because I have good friends, bro, my brother always tell me, bro, when we up, you up. When you up, we up. And now I'm able to bring my brother here to a restaurant that don't even belong to me. Mm. They belong to a friend of mine. But because you know the person I am and the opportunity that's given to me and the opportunity they gave me, now I'm able to share this experience with him. You know what I'm saying? Good food, too. So don't ever, don't ever tell me, you know, that, oh, he ain't, he can't say this because he can't say that. You do it first, man. Be the example of man. Right. You know, that's all I'm saying. Be the example of man. Homily. So, yeah, man, want to give a shout out to Dean's Houston Cheesesteak and Pizza, man. Two locations, man. But first and foremost, man, let me introduce myself, man. BSO, Homily. You know, shout out to BSO Social Club, man. That's the brand. And I also want to give a big shout out, man, to Real Tune Motherfucker TV, man. Damn, boy. Why you choose me, man? Why you why you believed in me, bro? Man. I got people that know me for years, bro. And I proved to them that I've changed, man. They ain't even believed in me, man. Man, sometimes it's in you, not on you. You know what I'm saying? Overstood, and, bro. And, and when it's in you, you can smell it in you. You know what I'm saying? You can smell it on them. Thank you, You know man. what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Yeah, you can smell it on them from afar. Yes, sir. And and, and, and the, the best thing about when you, when you see something in somebody is, is 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 seeing that you was right and you took a chance and it was right. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because if you didn't, good. you would have lost. It, it's been time. It's been times where I done passed up. I done passed up bread just because I done looked at somebody's outward appearance or I done made a judgment call because somebody yeah. didn't have this or didn't have that or didn't look like this and whole time. You know that was bread and but like last year we could have been we, got it in we could have been, been. been yeah we you heard me been we could have been and you know well, what I'm saying, and you, you know ain't what's hit crazy? the save but I ain't hit the save hey, but we ain't hit the save but you it. hear me we did it yeah and you know what's so, crazy too talk to me. when we like when we when we were supposed to have locked in last year man and my mind why I was putting my number down and this is probably why I didn't hit the save button bro. Because I already started seeing your interviews with person and them, but I wasn't going to say nothing. Right. The reason why I wasn't going to say nothing, man, because sometimes you got to come in like nothing, bro, and expect that a person, if a person mess with me with nothing, then I know a person will go all out for me for a little something. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Right. I don't know if you understand that, oh, bro. Overstood. So I didn't want you to fuck with me, bro, because who I know and the influence I know right. and the numbers that I got and the people I could call. Right. You feel me? I want you to fuck with me on how you see me. And the only reason why I opened up to you about Percy and, you know, these other names that you speak on, bro, you know, and, and shout out to Big B's too, man. You know, I ain't, ain't going to talk too much on that, man, but this some real tune shit, man. Man, let me tell you something. I could have been whispered in your ear, so you could have fucked with me because everybody I know. Right. But I didn't want to come in like that, bro. I said, man, the tune to fuck with me when I ain't got nothing. Then yeah, he put me on, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give him a little taste of man what I know. You know what I'm saying? For man, real, I appreciate man. That. And I'm talking about behind the scenes shit. Not nothing y'all ain't seen. Come on, man. Cause y'all y'all can't see it. Come I on, can man. only hear it. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. <laughs> and that's fast. Unless we show it. You hear it. For real. Yeah. 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 What's overstood ain't got to be explained. Yes, sir. Home of Lee, man. We right here. Overstood, brother. For real, man. <laughs> For real, man. Hey, real tone. It's some real money in the room.